वेलकम इन दिस वीडियो वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज रैंडमाइजेशन इन सिस्टम वेरी लॉग सो वी विल बी यूजिंग विवाडो सॉफ्टवेयर सो वी विल बी इंप्लीमेंटिंग रैंडमाइजेशन इन सिस्टम वेरी लॉग यूजिंग दिस विवाडो सॉफ्टवेयर सो आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट एंड आई विल एड अ सोर्स सो आई विल क्रिएट अ सिस्टम वेरी लॉग मॉड्यूल so change the file type to system by log and you can give a file name so i am giving the file name as randomization so you can give any file name and this will create a project uh, so name uh, give now we will uh, name a module so i am naming a module as test and i am not creating any ports right now because this is a module only this is a system very long module so now in the sources you can see i have created a module of test so this is the module the module name is test there is no input or output in this module so uh, i have created a class so as you can see the class name is kush and there are two uh, class properties a and b so these are a and b of four bits and their initial value is zero so they will be randomized and i have created a function pre randomize so pre randomize method is called before the objects are randomized so uh, before they are randomized their initial value is zero so we expect zero to be displayed then we will then we have also created a function post randomize so post randomize method is called after the objects are randomized so these are the two methods pre randomize and post randomize so we will expect a random value to be displayed so this is the class it has two properties and two methods in the class now uh, we have created this module definition so s1 is a object which belongs to class kush and we will be tracking uh, whether our randomization is successful or not so this bit success success will uh, determine whether randomization is successful or not so we have created uh, s1 equal to new so this statement will allocate the memory to the object so obviously memory or allocation to object is important and s1 is a object of class kush and success is equal to s1 dot randomize so if randomize is successful then uh, success will pre, uh, print one so we will uh, printing it using the display method so this is the uh, uh, program for randomization using system wide log so when we simulate it so run simulation so it is simulating now so as you can see the value of success is 1 so pre randomized values of a and b are 0 and post randomized values are 13 and success bit is equal to 1 so success is equal to 1 that means a uh, randomization is successful so we can again relaunch simulation to again see their random values so again you can see their random values are equal to 13 so the random values are not changing uh, but you can sure uh, that uh, our randomization is successful because 13 is a totally a random value uh, which is assigned uh, to bits a and b so uh, as you can see our uh, randomization is successful and if we change the bit uh, Length from four to five, so uh, we are changing it from four is to zero. 
so now it is a 5 bit length so again now you will see a different values will be displayed so now you can see the post randomized values are 29 and 29 for both a and b and if i change the bit size to 6 from uh, 5 is to 0 so again when we relaunch simulation now again you can see now their random values of uh, a is 61 and b is 29 so now both are displaying different values so as you can see uh, randomization is successful and success bit equal to 1 so this success denotes uh, that uh, randomization is successful and if we choose to be of uh, 7 length of a and b then again you can see uh, the value of a is 61 and the value of b is 93 and again success is equal to 1 so success uh, if success is equal to 1 it means that our randomization method is successful so please like and share the video and subscribe the channel thank you